Hi friends, and welcome to the clubhouse. I sure am tired after all that running. I was running here to wish you a happy Black History Month. This month, we celebrate and talk all about different people of color that changed the country, and in some cases, the whole world. Oh, and to be honest with you, I ran all the way here because the person that we're gonna talk about today was an amazing track and field star. Alice Coachman was born in Albany, Georgia, way back in 1923. She had a huge family and was the fifth of 10 children. When Alice was young, opportunities didn't exist for a young black girl to do many or any athletic activities. There were challenges stopping her from doing any of the things that she wanted to do. Not only because she was black, but also because she was a girl. Early on in life, Alice showed an interest in track and field activities. Some of those activities are things like the long jump, shot put, and relay races. With nowhere to be officially trained or to practice, Alice would run barefoot along dirt roads to practice her running and jumping. That sounds like it would hurt. But she absolutely loved jumping and would practice and practice trying to jump higher and higher. And when she got to the fifth grade, her aunt, along with a very special teacher, encouraged her to reach for her dreams. When she entered high school, she tried out for the track team and made it. And eventually her hard work and talent paid off and she was offered a scholarship to the Tuskegee Preparatory School and then went on to graduate from Albany State College. All of that hard work practicing her jumping paid off when she qualified for the 1948 Olympic Games in London, England, breaking a 16-year-old record to get there. And at the Olympics, she jumped a record high of five feet and six inches, making her jump better and higher than anyone else. And she won the Olympic gold medal, even though she had a back injury at the time. She received her medal by King George VI, Queen Elizabeth II's father. She was the very, very first woman of color from any country to win an Olympic gold medal. How special is that? And throughout her career, she ended up with 34 national titles, 10 of which were in the high jump. She was eventually inducted into the Track and Field Hall of Fame in 1975 and to the U.S. Olympic Hall of Fame in 2004. And not only did Alice Coachman run directly at all her challenges that were put in front of her because she was a girl and because of the color of her skin, but she literally jumped right over them. And you can do that too. Whether you want to be a track and field star, a singer or dancer, an astronaut, or anything in between, just remember that you can be anything you want to be. And as long as you work hard and practice, you will make it happen. I'll see you all next time, friends. I've got to run.